Greetings, this is Gremlin and I welcome you to the sixth part of my guide. Uh, today I will be talking about low MP farming, um, the Tempest Brush build in particular and how to gear for that. Um, the concept be behind low MP farming is quite old. Uh, it's well just about to get the most efficient um, farming done. Um, as Diablo was released and the first monks were able to fin uh, yeah, to finish Inferno and one-shot mobs there, um, they figured out how to improve the farming efficiency and speed. Um, obviously, increasing the DPS didn't cut it because yeah, well, what what did you achieve? You you one-shot it harder, so um, that's not really uh, cut it there. So the only option to really increase the farming speed was to increase the movement speed. Um, so back back then uh, you didn't have to care, to care for too much. Uh, it was really just to get from one pack to another on the fastest way. You didn't have to care about um, experience farming for Paragon and the drop chance on trash mobs were really low. So you just wanted to be able to skip the mobs, the trash mobs and just get as fast as possible from one pack to another. So, and um, Tempest Brush with Tailwind just did achieve that. Most monks just replaced the Renity with Tempest Brush, um, got the spirit up on a pack while they killed it, and just used the spirit up to rush to the next pack, kill it, get the spirit up, rinse and repeat. Um, and that was working just fine there. Um, Today it's a bit different because you want to kill everything on the way, uh, because you want to go um, yeah go up in Paragon levels, and you want um, to have a decent uh, amount of kills per well, hour or yeah uh, just a decent kill ratio, um, because trash mobs have a decent drop chance even on legendaries and so on as well now. So um, you have to put a, a lot more thought in your gear and um, uh, in your spec and de really design it around Tempest Rushing um, to, to make it work for the things you want today. Um, in the best case scenario, um, you want to end up to be able to Tempest Rush all the time and to one-shot uh, every mob with uh, Sweeping Winds alone. Getting there is really, really expensive. Um, however, getting a decent Tempest Rush uh, gear set isn't too expensive. It's not possible on really low budget because there are some gear requirements you want to have, uh, but um, it's it's not too expensive. So um, yeah, but I'm I'm going to talk about that um, a bit here. So what gear requirements are there? Um, because you want to be able to Tempest Rush all the time and Tempest Rush uses up uh, spirit, um, the, the faster your attack speed, the faster you use up your spirit. So in a sense you really want to gimp your attack speed. Um, this is uh, one of the gear requirements. And uh, the other one is a full inner set. Um, because of various reasons. Um, you really want to have the four set bonus to um, get the reduction on sweeping winds or the spirit reduction uh, that really helps to keep it active and uh, without spirit starving uh, and you can get spirit regeneration on your on your helm then of course you should aim for around two uh, spirit per second there um, get higher if you can afford it but two per second is okay um, Another nice thing is the movement speed from the pants, so um, you want to end up with at least two parts movement speed to get close to the uh, cap. So uh, if you have movement speeds on the boots already, uh, this just sorts you out. And all in all the set provides um, just nice DPS. Um, for the Tempest Brush build, because you are going for MP0 or MP1 farming later on, if your gear gets better, um, you don't really need defenses on uh, on the inner set, so you don't have to care for anything really. Uh, that's a good thing because um, yeah, it makes the parts much cheaper. Uh, the chest I'm gonna use uh, is uh, for my main gear with fire resistance. Um, so um, as 
my uh, test set here is poison resistance. This fire resistance here is kind of a wasted raw slot, so you can you know, just ignore it. So it's it's like a very very cheap inner chest um, uh, paired with the set at anyways. And yeah, the belt actually dropped for me. Um, the vitality normally gets uh, priced a bit on the on the belts. But it's not too much and doesn't make too too much of a difference, so you can just go with whatever you want there. <coughs> Sorry. Um, on the pants, I got um, pickup radius. Um, you can get or you should at least have one item with pickup radius for the spec. Uh, possible, uh, if possible, on two uh, two slots. Pickup radius on an inner set, however, gets priced because people know it's uh, well mostly used for uh, Tempest Rush farming or at least um, many use it and they know that um, pickup radius is desired there so it get priced a bit and jumps the price so try to get it on, on, on other slots <coughs> sorry um, the other gear requirement uh, is the scorn uh, it doesn't really have to be a scorn but um, it's just the, the most commonly available weapon that provides all you want to have. It's uh, very slow. It has high attack speed, uh, high attack damage. I mean, high scale damage, and um, much critical hit damage and a slot. And you can get it for really cheap. So that that is um, or would be my any day pick. Um, all in all, you don't get that for very low budget, but you don't have to pay too much and. Uh, the scorn, for example, was 1.5 million. Uh, where it is there? Yep, for 1.5 million even. And uh, is this? A, yeah, that's the radiance I bought for uh, 4 million. Uh, do I still have no the other notes? <coughs> so um, if you look for belts. Um, you can get them for around 1 million any day. Um, if you're free to choose what you want to have, well, just pick something that you deem works best with your gear setup. Um, by now you should have a rough idea if you're too low in, on armor and go with a strength wall or um, if you're somewhat okay on your mitigation and want more sustain with life regeneration for example. Um, <coughs> so, yeah. Just just look around a bit, um, but you can get them for around one million any day. So um, the pants, they sometimes uh, some pop up for two point five million around that, but you can get uh, okay pants for four million any day. <coughs> and it's somewhat same with the chest. Oh, they wow, they're cheaper even. Uh, they normally tend to um, ping pong around 3 million as well. So uh, just take your time a bit to get a, a decent dexterity one there and with some, some more vitality if you can afford it. And yeah. So that is uh, the helms are with two spirit regeneration and somewhat decent dexterity. Um, they tend to be around 6 million if you want to get it any day. So yeah. That's around 4 um, million each for pants and chest, around 1 million for the belt, around 6 million for the uh, uh, helm, and you can get good scorns for 2 million any day, so, or proper ones. Um, oh yeah, uh, what you want to have on the scorn uh, as sustain, um, because you want to be able to tempest buff all the time, you gimp your attack speed. Uh, so life on hit isn't really work there and because of the spec design uh, you mostly attack with your sweeping winds alone uh, and don't use your um, direct attacks so life on hit is really not gonna work there uh, just avoid it um, many try to go with life steal then but uh, that is not really fitting the, the spec and concept idea there um, you, you farm MP0 because you can kill stuff very fast because it, because it got low um, health points. So all in all, um, 
so the damage you do per mob is not that high so um, well it, it's it's based around that you don't need to do deal so much damage to kill stuff so yeah uh, lifesteal isn't gonna work there too well uh, but you kill a lot of stuff uh, stuff and you kill it fast so um, life after kill is um, really what you will be looking for uh, get 1000 at least uh, life after kill um, if you can get higher ones it, it doesn't really get priced so uh, just take your time a bit and get one with uh, a high life life after kill uh, value and uh, you should aim for around yeah plus 150 dex and plus 150 critical hit damage as extra wall and just put the highest emerald gem there you can afford so yeah that's about that gear requirement um, as I did build the set I cared a bit for attack speed because I used the warmonger normally not with tempest brushing so I really wanted to end up at uh, 1.5 attacks per second in total but that is not gonna work really well with the Tempest Brush build. So um, I bought a new ring for 100k uh, with uh, average damage, dexterity, poison resist and critical hit chance. And um, yeah, that was around uh, the cheapest version I could get. Uh, if I increased the uh, average damage there or the dex, uh, price jumped. So that were uh, the price curves there at around so um, getting higher than uh, around 40 average damage uh, it makes it made the price jump and above 100 decks as well um, so yeah uh, I'm going to use um, a somewhat okay uh, hellfire ring of dexterity I got there uh, I will just pretend um, all that MP farming uh, on MP5 I, I simulated there or did showcase two times even um, I just pretend it worked off and I got a hellfire ring now um, then the ring with um, without attack speed and um, yeah I might even go, go back to the um, old gloves I bought on the MP1 stage there so yeah then I'm going to go a bit into the spec there are uh, extremely many uh, good Tempest Brush uh, spec guides around so I will just give you a, a basic idea um, you can tweak the, the Tempest Brush spec to your desire and to your gear level there are many many tweaks I will just explain what works for me and give you a rough idea what to look out for so yep so about the spec um, uh, one thing you won't really want to have is of course the Tempest Brush um, this is kind of the whole idea behind the thing and you want to use it with uh, the Tailwind Room um, it's the movement speed you are after there um, so yeah this is mandatory and not open to your desire um, so um, by the way uh, ignore the bird in the background can't do much at the moment about it um, the other thing you really want to have is Sweeping Wind uh, this is kind of somewhat of your main attack you use uh, with the Tempest Brush uh, eventually, uh, when you have high spirit regeneration, you want to be able to use Firestorm uh, because it increases your um, radius to f uh, 14 yards and so you ha don't have to move around as much. So this would be um, increasing your efficiency. Uh, if you don't have the spirit regeneration yet, uh, go with Inner Storm so you um, yeah, gain the three spirit per second there. Um, for um, Breath of Heaven, uh, it's a sustain you get for the healing and the, the damage increasement from the Blazing Breath room. So, yeah, I consider it mandatory, but um, I've seen Tempest Rush builds without it even. Um, for the Mantra, um, I at the moment use Mantra of Healing with Circular Breathing for the Spirit Regeneration. Um, if you have Spirit Regeneration stacked on your gear uh, in a very high way, uh, that get, gets expensive, but I have seen monks uh, who pull it off and um, go with Mantra of Conviction 
This is of course a huge bonus, but um, I'm not able to, to get the enough spirit regeneration there. So yeah, I go with circular breathing on mantra of healing. And um, yeah, it's, it's some, some nice uh, no-brainer sustain there because of the life regeneration. And um, you get the, the option to um, use the, the absorb bubble uh, when you spam the mantra when you need to mitigate some damage there, so that is nice. Um, for the passives, um, fleet-footed is kind of mandatory, so um, that one you really want to have. The spec is all about movement speed, so not getting it would be bollocks. Um, then Guardian's Path, because of the spirit regeneration, uh, it increases all spirit regeneration, so not just from your attacking. So this is really mandatory as well. Um, as I initially tried out Tempest Rush uh, the very first time back then, um, I um, naturally went for a Chant of Resonance um, because of the spirit uh, regeneration, but Guardian's Path is working better and uh, the change they did to Exalted Soul that you get some more spirit regeneration um, that wasn't available back then but um, yeah, many people who, who try to figure it out themselves the first time they go for the spirit regeneration uh, passives but uh, Guardian's Path is just working so much better uh, in total so yeah just go with it um, for the one with everything passive uh, this is not mandatory in a, in a sense um, there are many experienced Tempest Rush monks who say uh, they don't need any resistance at all. I personally um, feel more comfy if I have 350 to 400 and uh, I don't get that without one of everything so for me that is mandatory. Um, if you can uh, skip it because you got so much all resist um, or enough that um, you feel comfy with your sustain or mitigation um, yeah, uh, you can opt out for for some some more damage stuff, or maybe with uh, well, maybe then go with uh, some more spirit regeneration to be able to um, to tempest rush all the time better, uh, or maybe seize the initiative uh, for some more armor if if you resist high enough already. So yeah, there the, you're completely free to choose whatever you want then. Um, for the main attack, um, there this is open to um, to your desire. Uh, I consider still deadly reach with so foresight somewhat mandatory, just because of the damage buff it provides. Um, so uh, with, the, with the damage buff, you can uh, scale uh, the damage of your speed pigment higher, and this is a really nice thing. And for me, that works best. If, if you don't feel comfy with that, um, there are tons of Tempest Rush guides on the internet. Um, this, this is not really a, a guide uh, um, for, for the Tempest Rush spec itself. So, um, yeah, just, just have a look if you don't feel fine with Deadly Beach and Foresight. Um, the, so, uh, normally you don't have any troubles with trash mobs with the Tempest Rush, um, resist or not. Um, I, or at least with the set, uh, I won't have the DPS to um, to kill elites fast enough to to go with low resist. Um, so this is some somewhat of my um, elite pack kill the skill, the the seven sided strike with fulmination onslaught. Uh, at least it helps on elite packs. Um, yeah, that's that's why I got it. Um, if, if your general DPS is high enough to deal with elites fast, um, then you're open to, to use whatever you want there. But yeah, that's the spec I... Um, that is working well, well for me. So, and yeah, now I've explained everything, uh, why I'm using it. And I hope you got a rough idea how to tweak it. Um, so yeah, let's put on the gear now. Um, yeah. This is the ring I, I uh, got, the Hellfire ring. It got an extra dexterity roll and a av good average damage roll. So, yeah. Um, 
as you have seen, the um, this ring uh, provides a bit more DPS. So, um, or, and that one as well with uh, high dexterity and average damage. So the question arises, why didn't I go with that in the first place? But um, as I did build the set, uh, I haven't got uh, uh, too much critical hit damage there. So um, the additional hit damage, uh, critical hit damage I get with the scorn really scales nicely with um, the um, critical hit chance here on the ring. So yeah, and um, I might be using the, yeah, just gonna go for it. Um, even with uh, b uh, based on the the uh, the low budget set I have had there, um, I'm at 100 damage, uh, 100k uh, DPS. Of course, it gets down when I reduce my dexterity for the uh, Paragon, and. I, I I don't think you will have uh, the budget to to get 100% crit uh, damage again, sir. But all in all, you should be able to to get plus 90k anyways. So um, the minimal marker I have found are at 80k uh, DPS, uh, paper DPS. I haven't really tested it completely out, but um, I'm I'm very fine with uh, around 90k. So. Um, I, I think that should be possible to reach for you any day. Um, so yeah, I will just showcase uh, a full X3 run, I think, there. Um, I'm not too happy about the resist. Um, you want to have a health firing for your Tempest Rush farming for the XP, so getting your suiting resist there is quite hard. So um, don't um, rely on having a resist there. Uh, as said, I personally feel feel more comfortable with 350 to 400 um, resist. So try to get it with uh, other parts, or go with uh, low uh, resist on on the inner parts, so it doesn't get priced too high if you're on a low budget. So yeah, um, I hope I explained everything uh, okay there. Uh, I have nice life after kill. Um, and that really works well for me. So um, you you can get life after kill on on other parts on your gear as well. So um, you don't need to have it on a scorn even. Maybe that helps you out to to uh, get the best out of the budget. Okay, just doing the run and I think. Ah, one addition. Um, the spec is working well uh, even on lower uh, life, around. Um, if you have around 30k, um, that's working fine already, and the armor um, 3k is already working fine enough. Um, uh, one thing though, uh, you want to have the Templar um, for um, the spirit regeneration, and um, yeah, maybe some more life per second, and a, and a healer. So. This is what you want to end up with. And as you can see, um, I'm not. Um, uh, I don't have enough spirit generation to tempest brush all the time. Um, so uh, the the high budget option would be to get a stone of Jordan here with spirit regeneration. And um, when your budget get high enough, uh, you want to have sweeping wind damage on the helm and the stone of Jordan as well. So uh, that is the high options you want to end up with. So and now I think I I included everything I forgot there. Okay, yeah, let's go for the for the run actually then.